Hi there. So today I'm going to be reviewing the film Final Destination 5 in 3D. But first I'm going to be reviewing the first four films of the series because I'm new to the whole movie reviewing thing on YouTube and I just want to let you know my opinion on the series. Don't worry though, I'll be brief. Good? Better? Ugh, do I even need to say it? This thing was just awful. Worth it if you only see it in 3D. Alright, now that those are out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about this film that I saw last week. Let me just start off by saying this film was completely underrated. Not that many tickets were sold. The only reason that this movie made like over $18 million was because of the 3D, most likely. But I think the main reason that not a lot of people saw it was because of how bad the fourth one was. Like I said, only worth it if you see it in 3D. However, like most of the Final Destination movies, the acting leaves a lot to be desired. That There weren't that many good actors here. The only actors that I was really impressed with over the film was, of course, the return of Tony Todd as Bloodsworth, who made the first two just, like, worth seeing. And, of course, the guy that you see in a whole bunch of other comedy films, like, maybe Get Smart, the guy who gets stapled in the face all the time, or the main character from the spoof of sports movies, The Comebacks. Of course, many people have been pointing out that the main character also looks a whole lot like Tom Cruise. And, of course, he did one time parody Tom Cruise in the film Superhero Movie. But, back to the acting, once again, all just not that good. It's nothing that stands out. I mean, at first, the whole movie just looks like any other Final Destination movie. Introduce you to characters, then you go to the supposed place that the vision takes place and see everybody dying, pull everybody out, and one by one they're all picked off. But I gotta say that this vision, although it's not as good as the car crash one in Final Destination 2, this one was actually really good. I mean, there's just carnage, like, everywhere. And one of my favorites has got to be Peter's because he's climbing up this gate thing, this ladder thing, or whatever it is, and, like, he suddenly gets impaled by all these pipes, and one of them is just, like, poking at my face. Face. I was just in 3D. It was just crazy. So anyway, after everybody is pulled off like eight people, like the usual group, they start doing all the mysterious stuff that's going on. But what I absolutely loved about Death this time is that he was actually a bit darker this time. I mean, there were actually points in this film where I was cringing because it was so uncomfortable especially the gymnastics scene for the first death, and there's like this screw that fell on the balance beam, and the girl just keeps on doing her gymnastics around it, and the screw is just spinning, and I was just, I just kept grabbing onto my seat. I was so frightened by that. I won't be giving away all the death scenes, by the way. So anyway, after like the second or third kill in the film, Tony Todd comes back and unveils a new plot to possibly escape death. The fact that if you kill somebody, then you get their lot, you get the amount of days they had left until they died one day. Let me just stray away from the subject real quick. I just gotta say, it's great to see Tony Todd back, and I just love his acting. He is very creepy, and I've always enjoyed his presence in these films. So anyway, like I was saying, now that, now you can kill somebody, and you'll be saved. And so, time goes on, people are being picked off one by one, and then the ending comes along. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but let me just say that it will, it is like the biggest twist ending I have ever seen. I, my jaw just dropped when I saw this ending. And then finally at the end, I will give away because it's not much that affects the plot. It's just this huge montage of all the deaths that have happened in the previous four films. And I thought that it was just wonderful. That was a great way to end the film. I thought that this could possibly be the best one, and if not better than two, then yes, yeah, it comes in second. So a quick wrap up here. This film is definitely worth seeing. I was just completely entertained the whole time. And the 3D is just wonderful. You have got to see this film. Pay the extra money for the 3D. Don't see this in 2D. All this stuff will be flying at your face, but it won't make any sense. So check back from time to time. Hopefully I will be posting up more reviews, but I might not do it a whole lot. Maybe if I do put something up, it'll be like something old on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, but it's because I don't go to the theaters very often because of the high ticket prices.